My name is Ty French, and this is my podcast. That's why it's called the Ty French Podcast. Hey, hello, 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 and welcome back to the Thai French Podcast. My name is Thai French, and this is my podcast, and that's why it's called the Thai French Podcast. Today, we are blessed with the icon, the reality TV legend, Bravo extraordinaire, Brielle Bierman. Hi, guys. What's happening? Thanks, what Tyson. I'm happy to be here again. I mean, it's more like a... Hey, Ty, I'm in L.A. <laughs> do you want to do a podcast? Like, why not? No, literally, like, I didn't know she was coming to L.A. until literally this weekend. And I was like, we've got to record a podcast episode. It's been so long since we've had her on. And the tyrants just miss you. Yeah, of course. And I mean, a lot has happened. So. <laughs> a lot has happened. A lot has happened. Um, first off, let's start with, do you want to share with the tyrants what happened in your Uber ride on the way over here? Oh, yeah, we should definitely <laughs> dive into that. By the way, these are Ty's pants <laughs> because um, I got a lovely Uber. His name was Michael. He was fabulous. Thank you, Michael. Um, but not thank you at the same time. <laughs> I get out of the Uber and I'm like, hmm, my ass is a little wet. <laughs> Am I allowed to cuss on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. My ass is a little wet and I'm not sure why. So I'm like, my back is to your door, by the way, down there, because I ran across and I didn't want people to see because I didn't know how wet it was. Bye. I could just feel some wetness. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, OK, so I backed up to Ty's front door and I type in the code like this. like, <laughs> <laughs> And I see Ty at the stairs. I'm like, is my ass wet? He's like, yeah. I basically am like, Tyson, I need you to sniff smell my it. ass like smell it because i was putting my hand on it and sniffing and i wasn't really getting a whiff of anything <laughs> and i wanted to be sure so let let it be known that i am a good friend and i went nose to ass <laughs> not yes. sure what the liquid was um gasoline piss uh that you know, it was soda. it was pee it was pee it was pee ties like that is definitely piss um and, and I, un- unless you've caught on um it was not her piss yeah it was not mine. As somebody must have peed in the Uber's seat that I was sitting in. By the way, he had no AC and I was dying the whole time. So like, I was like. Keep in mind, it's also like a 40 minute drive from where she just came from. How did you not know that you were sitting in a puddle of human, I'm uh, assuming a human piss? I'm, I, would, <laughs> I, I mean, I would feel better if it was a dog. I was going to say that's <laughs> actually like maybe the best case scenario. I asked Tyson, I was like, am I going to catch something from this? Like, God forbid. Like, I don't know how it works, but it was not my piss. It was somebody else's. <laughs> and when I got in the car, I didn't see a stain. So mm-hmm, it's mm-hmm. more like it. somebody must have peed last night. <laughs> ew, ew, ew. No, it wouldn't have marinating. It is fresh. Ew, stop. <laughs> don't with the marinating. So, yeah, needless to say, you might recognize these gorgeous vintage Roberto Cavalli pants They're that she is large, wearing. They're a little large because I'm work. a chunky monkey and we've covered that but before. You're a man. But you're I'm a man. man. I'm a boy. I'm a real boy. And you might recognize these from Coachella because that's where I got them and they're amazing and they actually look really good on you. But I'm so glad they don't fit because yeah, I know I would you would steal. not get, <laughs> give I them back to me. Anyways, so you're in L.A. Tell the tyrants why you're in L.A. You just got a freaking brain scan. Mm-hmm. Like, hello, 911. Are you OK? <laughs> so my mom and I came to L.A. this week to do a brain scan. Um, this doctor is incredible. It's very hard to get in with him, but I honestly suggest everybody to go see him. He has 11 offices throughout Ooh. the United States. The brain scan. I thought I'm 26 years old. There's no need for me to do a brain scan, right? No, I, when I get in there and I did my brain scan and I went through the motion, when I started talking to the doctor, he was like, you needed this more than your mom who's had strokes. By the way, he confirmed that my mom had actually strokes, not TIA. So there's a Mm. difference between a stroke and a TIA. A stroke is obviously a little more severe. Yeah. Um, So scary. We never really got confirmation on stroke or TIA for my mom. The brain scan shows it clear as day. So they show you what a normal brain should look like. And then they show you your brain and where they have, it looks like holes, but it's not exactly like as blank black and white as a hole in your brain. Right. It's more like where you're lacking blood flow. Interesting. And 
I was actually lacking so much blood flow in my frontal lobe area, which is, hello, <laughs> decision making, <laughs> emotions, logic, like that. You need that for everything. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he's like, your ADD has been crippling you your whole entire life. It's more severe than you ever thought because I never got diagnosed as a kid. I just right. knew I wasn't good at school. So hence why... <laughs> I didn't go to college yeah because i was like if i'm not required to go i'm not gonna go yeah yeah i did the bare, bin bare minimum to pass through high school and he was like you struggled your whole life and you still are so he actually recommended i take adderall twice a day i'm like okay hold on that's a lot <laughs> <laughs> like i don't i never really i never really got into adderall or things like that yeah. in middle school or high school like most people did and i honestly would be very jealous of the kids who were on it just because I could see that they weren't struggling the way that I was. So when right. he said that to me, it made a lot of sense. Totally. Uh, but a brain scan, no matter the age is uh, recommended and okay. it's incredible. He gave me a lot of vitamins and minerals to help me kind of, I haven't started taking them yet. <laughs> Two <days laughs> this ago. was just yesterday. So oh, yesterday, you know, yesterday, we got to give um, her some time. Yeah. I need some time for, I mean, I woke up and came here, but so what you're saying is that you were, you had brain damage and that is why you are my friend because probably you, lack of better judgment. Well, I mean, <laughs> yes. Uh, but no, he also <laughs> said that I had like a couple concussions in the past, oh, interesting. Um, which every time I've been in a car accident was in an Uber. So just me and Uber are not get getting along. The Ubers. Okay, next time I'm picking your ass up. No, please. And I actually, it's funny. I got a notification today. Today, seven years ago today is when I ordered my first Uber. So I don't know what's going on in the world of Uber, but like, leave me alone today. I don't know how much you believe in all that planet shit, but I Mercury saw a TikTok retrograde. that, no, there's like seven planets oh. in retrograde right oh, now. Oh, until so next year? Yeah, every, Until all the planets. next year? Yeah, until January. Um, so not all at once, obviously, but like Venus, the planet. So everybody who's getting engaged or married right now, good luck because <laughs> <laughs> sorry. Uh, one of my friends just got married this past weekend. I'm sorry. So did mine. I just yeah. got back from Utah. Oh no. Oh. I'm so sorry, Mary. Apparently well, it's bad luck. Venus is the planet of love. That's okay. in retrograde. And that's a bad thing. Yeah. Okay. Because when it's in retrograde, that means the planet's circling the sun backwards. <gasps> Wait, 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 wait. So planets just like yip, skip, dip and reverse it? I don't know. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> but like, I'm pretty sure that's the concept. Okay. And then, so Venus is the planet of love. Mercury is the planet of contracts and communication. When okay. you get marriage, married, that's love, contract mm -hmm. in a marriage mm -hmm. and communication. So... So R.I.P. Mary and to her dear friend that just got married. Stay tuned. We wish you nothing but the best. <laughs> We're not wishing on your downfall. It's just the planets are aligned that mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So tell the tyrants if you are working any projects, some stuff coming up. You know, I know it might not. You might not be able to say very much. Oh, that's because you know. <laughs> but um, <laughs> So me and my mom. Okay. have something in the works right now Ooh. that's starting very soon which is very exciting love um and then we have actually two more very fun projects um one of them including ariana Ooh, love. which is gonna be great those are in the works right now nothing set in stone okay. but it's <laughs> it's like very like like it's happening yeah yeah i love nothing more there's this new podcast that i listen to called ride by uh Benny, Benny drama and his friend, Mary Beth Brown. Um, you've seen him, that guy that does like TikToks and he like impersonates K Courtney Kardashian and does like the very strong widow's peak. He's like a comedian. I don't, Anyways, you know, I'll I don't get you. on TikTok <laughs> until I started making I'll, them. I'll, I'll, I'll show you. I'll show okay. you. I'll show you. Um, but anyways, he just started a podcast and it's so funny, but they choose like things that they ride for. And one of their rides were an announcement about an announcement. And that was just that energy that I'm getting. And I love it. Like, oh. I'm riding for oh, it. Oh, so like, this is good. No, it's good. It's like, okay. it's like, Hi guys, check out my Instagram story tomorrow at noon. I have something to say. And it's like, I'm announcing oh, okay. that I'm going to announce something. Yep. And that's what you just did. And I love it. And I appreciate it. Um, so. Stay tuned for that. It's going to be very exciting. Stay very tuned. And, you know, I would be doing the tyrants a disservice as a podcast host to bring you on and not ask you about all them little articles flowing around. You know, there's some information. When you are a very beautiful, very successful individual like Brielle Bierman and like her mother, you know, people care. And there's there's been some stuff happening. And I just want to give you a, a second to comment. 
On what? <laughs> <laughs> um, are we Team Kim or Team Croy? I don't know. Um, it's very difficult, but I'm trying my hardest to remain as neutral as positive. I'm Switzerland in this, mm-hmm. okay? Croy's always been an incredible father to me. My mom, I've been with her the whole 26 years of my life, obviously. <laughs> so it's a very fine line between navigating Kim and Croy. Totally. It's not as easy as black and white. Totally. Um, but I'm sure you feel hard because like he, sure, he's not your biological father, but like that is your dad. Yeah, like hundred percent. I don't. He's been there for you, yeah. and oh, gosh. Well, I speak for me and all of the tyrants, and I'm sure everyone who grew up watching you on Bravo in reality TV. You started that show when you were what, 12, 13? 10. 10. and we are just all giving you a hug, and we love you, well, and you no matter what's happening, we're there for you, and we love you, and. You guys are going to get through this. I love your fam. I hope so. I think we will. You're going to. No yeah. matter what happens, like, you're going to be okay. You That's know? what I keep telling, like, Kim and Croy. I'm like, mm-hmm. it's literally only up totally. from here. Yeah. Like, it's as you, low as it can go. Exactly. You have to hit the low until you can, you know, grow and yep. move on from it. And I feel like you guys have hit the low. Yeah. Well, I think that Kim and Croy probably need a hug more than I do because oh. I'm like the mediator of the family yeah. and it's that's hard to why be the, hard. the oldest sibling. Oh, for sure. I mean, Ariana, God bless her. She doesn't live in the house anymore. That's I, I still do say. for right now. Um, we we're supposed to be getting a house together um, in September, which is going to yeah. be fabulous in Atlanta, in Atlanta. Okay. But, um, Ariana moved out in March with her boyfriend of seven years or mm-hmm. eight years. They're always on and off. I mean, yeah. they've been on for like two years, like a long time now. Yeah, so yeah. it seemed right to move in together. And she doesn't deal with it the way that I do. Thank God, though, I wouldn't want her to have, you totally, know, kind of totally. feel the pressure that I feel. Um, yeah. I feel like even though she's 21, I'm 26. That's still a lot of a lot of time life that I've lived. And um, like we met when we were 21. No, we, no I was, it was like, I was like 19. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's like right. 18. Oh my gosh. We were very young. I think, yeah. No, I mean, idiots. Yeah. So, I mean, come on. Yeah. You were at my 21st birthday <laughs> and we were. <gasps> that's right. And I got roofied in Miami. Yep, the he tyrants did. heard that last yeah, time you were on. Yeah, they did. I'm dead. Well, like I said, we're thinking about you and we love you. And if anyone can get through this, it is you. You're the strongest person I know. You grew up in this industry. I know that. You know, it can't be easy for all these outlets and all these people to Mm -hmm. be bugging you and harassing you and leaving comments and whatever. But if anyone can handle it, I know it's you. It's just I think it's very funny to me because people read things Mm -hmm. and they think that they know the full picture. Totally. Or they've seen the show. So they think that they have a full picture on who my mom is, who Croy is, who me, Ariana, the siblings, whatever. That's not the case. It's not entirely accurate. Um, While... A lot of people are swaying one way or the other. Yeah. It's not that black and white. Totally. Like you see 30 minutes of our life yeah. once a week. And we of haven't even we been on TV. To show you. Yeah. That's what I was going to say is, I mean, obviously like it's par for the course. Like I, you know, I, I have a podcast. I'm a pop culture fanatic. I love it. And so obviously even if something happened to someone who hasn't been on TV in a while, like I would still be like, oh, like mm-hmm. I would, it would pique my interest. But I think there is a level of distance and respect that you have to give people when you're no longer on TV. So yeah. just because I was on TV when I was 15 years old does not give you carte blanche for the rest yep. of my entire life to pick me apart. And you feel like you need every information about every single part of my life. You don't get to do that. It's different if like you were currently filming the season yep. and you guys were trying to avoid it or whatever. It's like, you know, well, that's why I'm saying where are the cameras now? If only no, I need Andy and a camera immediately. No, me too. Because <laughs> every day I'm like, holy shit. Like <sighs> this is the time to be yeah. recording because I think that America mm-hmm. or, you know, the viewership of yeah. the world who's tuned in to the Kim Bierman and Croy Bierman show right now right. would probably have a different outlook okay. on right, the right, situation right. Yeah. without saying a lot. There's a lot that's going on and I'm really trying my hardest to be neutral. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's smart. And I respect you. You have siblings that are involved, oh, little yeah. kids. And I feel like that's what just what I want everyone to take away is like, it's one thing to go after, you know, Kim signed up to be a housewife, this, whatever. It's like, there are children yeah. who's like, this is like their parents and, and their And they're life. at that age right now where they're in middle school. Totally. And like people are going to be saying stuff to yeah. them at school and like, we all just need to be a little bit respectful. Yeah, please. I know... 
I know people say you sign up for this, blah, 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 but like you really don't know what's going to happen. Totally. Like how it's going to affect your life this much. And I just want to protect the peace of my siblings as much as possible. I'll take on right. the Kim and Croy battle right. all day long or whatever the media, but leave my yeah. siblings out of it. And we're always on their For You page on TikTok. And I'm like, KJ, stop Googling yeah. yourself. Swipe like up, stop searching for yourself. <laughs> because if we're on your For You page. Yeah. You're typing in KJ Beerman. Me though. Yeah, like KJ, you're 12 years Me old. Me searching up Thai French. There's not alive. one video. <laughs> There's some scary ones. Don't don't look it up. Don't Google. Um, oh my gosh. Well, thanks for giving us an update. I know it's kind of a touchy subject and mm-hmm. whatever, but we're here for you. And mm-hmm. in other news, I have no life update to give my little tyrants because I got back from Utah. It's funny to me that you call them tyrants when you're saved as my, in my phone as ty- rat. Shut up. Okay, yeah. okay. So that's kind of how it like started. But <laughs> wow, I love that. <laughs> Somebody DM me one day and started going off about how Ty is a rat. <laughs> <laughs> because up. he's in my life oh, and oh, oh. remember this guy he's like like a like, like your stalker yeah he's one of my stalkers oh my god um and he was that. going off about how it ties a rat because he doesn't give up my like location or what i'm doing <laughs> or where i am and it's like actually that makes him not a rat yeah right, right. but ever since then it's just so funny because like it's so like ty is a rat and that was kind of <laughs> like before rats was like a thing yeah i was just i I'm the OG rat. He is. You heard it here first. I'm he the OG is. rat. Um, but I got home from Utah on Monday, obviously, as you guys heard on Wednesday's episode with Jose. But I have recorded a podcast every single day since I've been home. Oh, and you love a working king. I'm a working king. You know, I'm just hustling for my little tyrant. So I actually have no life update. That is it. This is my life update. Um, but I forgot to do a song of the day on Wednesday's episode. So I didn't forget today. And it's a song that I heard on my walk yesterday morning not the forbidden one right no 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 no. no. i would never bring it up in front of you never (laughs) um we have a forbidden song that we can't talk about but my song of the day is love by keisha cole do you know that song no i mean if i heard it probably (laughs) (laughs) i thought you were really gonna no 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 i can't i can't it's like, it's such a ballad. Let me play a little bit for you guys. I, is that a thing. copyright thing? It's like, no one's coming after my ass or I'll just cut it out. Okay. What's this all about? Oh. And I can't okay, believe well, you heard me... of me. I'll do, I'll do it after, but I'm downloading that song. Uh, no, you need to. It's yeah. good. It's, you know, it's I love a vibe. Keisha Cole. Yes, love. It's like a ballad. Okay. It's a throwback. But I was listening to it on my morning walk yesterday and I was just like, oh, oh, it was just hit. How many times did you hit replay? <laughs> You know, I did listen to it once or twice. I won't lie. Um, do you have a song that you're obsessed with lately that you want to tell the tyrants? Oh, yeah. I cannot stop listening to Travis Scott's song, I Know. <gasps> it's so good. And His like, album's so good. The, I mean, I haven't listened to like really the full album. It's yeah. just like I like I clicked this one first for some reason yeah. and I'm stuck on I Know because he's like... Eating meeting Maddie rolled the dices. Oh! I just pick and choose the bitches or however the fuck he worded it. And I was Lombre like, Minaj. okay, oh, <laughs> y'all know. You know what's funny? What? Cardi B was watching my stories the other night and I was scared that she was going to like start some, some drama coming for me or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. Cause you guys know I'm a Barb. Okay. <laughs> but I do love Cardi B. And in fact, I actually loved Cardi B before she was Cardi B because ATL. she was so funny. And like, like she she, just, she's from Atlanta, right? She's from New York, but she's oh. lives in Atlanta because okay. Offset is from Atlanta. Okay. Um, but I, I mean, I so you know what I did after I saw her watching my stories on Instagram, I was like really weirded out. I was scared, so I typed in my name on Twitter, and oh then I gosh. went Cardi B to yeah. see if I ever talk <laughs> shit because I don't think I did. And it was always like she's so funny, and this was like back in 2018, 2017 when yeah. she was just doing funny videos before she was like really like right. respected as a rapper. Right. Um, I love Cardi B and I love Nicki Minaj. I don't understand the beef. I hate the pick and choosing. It's like wait, so are you excited for um, Pink Friday too? Uh, yes, and I'm hoping for a Romans Revenge Part Two. Yes, I need Eminem. Is it my fault for putting you bitches on? on? No, no, oh. And then I need Eminem, like Eminem yes. and Nicki Minaj. Like, are you? kidding me everybody in the no, world knows the I world would literally stop i get that way with the podcast all the time because i'm so opinionated and like my opinion half the time like i am just a very 
strong vocal person oh. and I can get I can get passionate about anything at any time mm-hmm. but like half the time like I actually don't really care that much yeah. it's just like funny like I view the podcast as like it's like a stand up it's like comedy yeah. you know it's like I'm entertaining it's not that serious yeah. and so when I talk about things like Vanderpump Rules or whatever I you know I might, I might be talking shit about certain cast members and then I'll like see them in real life or like I just got um a job to shoot one of them possibly and like I've definitely <laughs> well, talked shit about them on the podcast and I'm like Huck, I want to ask them to come on, but I'm like, I know I probably talk shit, but like, I didn't but mean it's it. But it's your job. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's it's like, like, it's a fine line because let me tell you, when I know, I don't, without giving away a lot, <laughs> one of my friends, someone I know okay. does a podcast, very popular. I love and adore this person. They talk shit about my sister one time <gasps> and I was listening to it on a flight home and I was supposed to be a red eye that I was supposed to sleep on. Yeah. And I was awake, You're just fired up because I don't like, like, you can fuck with me yeah. all day yeah. long, but you can't fuck with, like, my yeah. family. Wait, that- was it? Who? Who? Yes. Because then weren't we texting about this? I think we were. I think and we I were. And I was like, I'm pretty sure I was texting a group chat yeah. with every with all of us. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Ty, if you guys are not aware, Ty's been like one of my besties for a very, very, very long time. We do like an annual birthday trip. Yes. He comes to Atlanta. My friends come out here. So like he knows my circle. I know like yeah. a lot of his circles. Yeah. So um, she loves Jose. Uh, Jose <laughs> is. We have, I was just telling Tyson, we have got to meet up with him when we yes. go back to my side of town tonight. Yes, yes. Absolutely. Like no, that's no to. that's no. I love him. We have to. But uh yeah, no, when this person talked shit about Ariana, I was so enraged to, to text. Right. But I do at the same time understand it wasn't really talking shit. Just too. like addressing just, things that are yeah, out. Yeah, which yeah. I get it. It's your job. It's da 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 da. But like Somebody felt the need. I don't listen to podcasts. I tune into yeah. yours. I'm a terrible friend. I tune into yours sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. I don't, you know, I don't I listen to, respect. I know a lot of people tell me <laughs> every time I hear about you and Ty's stories on his podcast, because allegedly you bring them up sometimes. Yeah, yeah, everybody's yeah. like, I fucking die <laughs> laughing. And I'm like, wait. So then I go like back and I'll try to like, yeah. you know, self-centered a little yeah, bit. Yeah, try yeah. to listen Find to the, the part yeah, yeah. that I'm in. No, I get it. I get but it. But it's like podcasts to me are not my like thing well, to listen to. I think once to. you're like in the entertainment industry, it's like, you know, of course you're not going to listen to a pop culture yeah. podcast that's maybe going to talk shit about you. Because yeah, I don't you know, know what's obviously in... Obviously, we would never do that here on the Tyrus podcast. But. I don't even know what's in pop culture right now. I just try to stay off. Yeah. Wait, so do you have anything to say, as I kind of just brought up Scandaval, do you have anything to say about Scandaval? Do you, are you aware of that? I know Brielle texted me and, like, she had never seen the show. She doesn't watch reality TV or, like, whatever. I just think once you're in that industry, you don't. But... Yeah. Um, she was like, okay, what's this fucking scandal ball that everyone's talking about? I got to get on. Like, tell me what to watch. And Peacock had come out with like a guide of like the, all the important episodes that you need to watch. And I sent it to her and I was like, you got to watch these. Like, it's so entertaining. He literally was like, okay, you can start at season three <laughs> and watch these four episodes. Then you can skip to season five and do this, this, this. And I saw it and I was like, God, thank God somebody sent me that. But I still haven't tuned in okay, because okay. the buzz kind of died down. I know. Now point. it's kind of irrelevant. Yeah. And like you wanted to be in the know. But yeah. do, so do you know, like you obviously know what happened. What do you have like any opinion on it? Or are you kind of just like. I mean, what I, to my knowledge, Rachel cheated or no. Yeah. Rachel hooked up with Ariana's boyfriend. Yeah. There's two Toms. Yeah. This is one of the Toms. Yeah. Allegedly, everybody that I see on Twitter and Instagram is like, we hated him anyways. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. I can't speak on that because I've never seen Vanderpump Rules. Right. Um, ironic. We're all in the same Bravo family. <laughs> and know. I've met Lisa and I adore her, but I've never seen the show. Yeah. Um, but I don't know. Like, I, I think it's shitty. Obviously, like, that's terrible. I would yeah. never want to go through that myself. Like, right. that's absolutely terrible. I mean, so a lot of people like Colin told me that Ariana and Rachel were friends. Like I couldn't imagine like my mind immediately right. went to like Elizabeth right. cheating with my man. And now the bitch does have some <laughs> tendency. Like she does flirt with my men sometimes. So Elizabeth, if you're watching, back die off. back. I'm yeah. Dead. But no, 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 Elizabeth would never. So, but, but that's where my mind went yeah. and I couldn't imagine going through something like that. So I feel for her, but yeah. it's especially seems doing like, it on national television. It's oh. like, because people make mistakes and whatever, wait, wait, but they, they have footage of no 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 no. Oh. I mean, but like there, it was oh, like while they were public, filming. Yeah. So it's like you know, it's easy. Like I was just saying, like it's easy to get wrapped up in these things when you're not involved and mm-hmm. to you know have an opinion and care and get worked up. But like at the end of the day, like it really doesn't matter. Okay, so two people cheated. Guess what? Fucking. It happens every day. It happens every fucking day. Like, we're but fine. 
it seems like Ariana is like living her best life right now. Like this could be the best thing that she got ever so happened. Rich to her. off of it. Are you kidding uh, me? Yeah, I like, see. She's on she's Dancing fine. with the Stars yes. now. She has like an Uber commercial. Oh, she she has, did. Yes. No. She's like made millions off of her partnerships since that. Okay. So no. What scandal can someone, go down with me? Someone cheat on me. Please, yeah, like, please. If I get some millions out of it, please cheat on me. You have full carte blanche. Yeah. Should we start some drama? What should we do? I'm down, honestly, like, because. Uh, as if you need any more. <laughs> <laughs> you're right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe maybe you're good for a minute, but capitalize on it. Get some cash. I'm here, aren't I? We'll, we'll brainstorm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Anyways. Okay. So, uh, you know, this was kind of a last minute episode and I haven't seen Brielle in a while and we just wanted to shoot the shit. Basically, I just wanted her on the pod. Any excuse to get her on is obviously a great time. Any excuse to see her. Kim's next. Kim's next. Yep. Let's see. Let's see. She'll be on very soon. <laughs> Trust Emily. Stay tuned. Um, but... We just thought it'd be fun to play like a would you rather mm -hmm. game. So I'm just going to ask Brielle some things. Would you rather? And then, you know, some of them, like, I'll obviously give my opinion as well. And some of these are things that I came up with. Some of these are things that the tyrants sent in. I asked. I didn't tell the tyrants that it was you that was going to be on this episode with me or that I was even doing a would you rather episode. But last night I put like a question box on my um, Instagram story. And I was like, would you rather fill in the blanks? You tyrants are disgusting. Let me just before we wait, even can answer, we, are we gonna do them? I yeah, want to so do these them. These ones, no, we you can't. No, it, that's how absolutely feral they are. Like you, we can't even do these. And so let me just read off a few of them because I will not be caught dead answering. I will not have that clipped on the internet forever, and I doubt Brielle would as well. I mean, I'm down. Uh, uh, Tyson. Uh, num, 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 num. Well, I don't know what we're working with. Okay. So th let's just quick fire some of the ones that the tyrants are. I'm expecting, you know, people are going to say, would you rather eat peanut butter with a cockroach or, you know, lick, lick your brother's toe? That's, th that's the things I'm <laughs> expecting. I don't know where I just pulled that out of my ass. But this is what I'm getting. Sex with your father-in-law or watch porn of your mother-in-law? Neither. <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm like repulsed. Um, oh, just wait. It gets, it gets better. Bang Helen Keller. Or jump off a cruise ship. Probably jump off the cruise ship. I mean, that's just like terrible to do to somebody. <sighs> Would you rather watch your parents have sex every time or join them once and never have to watch? That's, uh, who is, is this the same person? Who is sending this? Is this and the same person? No, it's all just different tyrants. That is the type of absolutely feral community that I have listening to this podcast. And I need you all to seek help immediately. Yeah, you guys should go to Dr. Amen and do a brain scan. No, you need a brain scan because something is off in there. not right. Anyways, so my first one, I'm just going to roll off of the um, Vanderpump scandal, which maybe this isn't even funny because if you've never seen it, but would you rather join the cast of Vanderpump Rules or... Join the new cast of Real Housewives of Atlanta. See, I'm not even aware of what is going on with Atlanta. So there, who's, is Nini included? Is Sheree? Like, who's in it? Well, so allegedly, they announced like this week that they might be firing everyone in Atlanta and completely rebooting it like the New York girls. Do you really? Have any, do you have any comment on that? I mean, I don't understand why we have to, like, who... I live in Atlanta. I'm in the know. Like, right. I don't even know who they it, would be adding like, into the mix. It's almost like they should just start go back it over to the first? with you or oh. go back to the first. Oh, with me. Okay. I think they reboot it around you. And me. I mean, I'm a mini Kim. <laughs> so I'll move to Atlanta. I'll, I'll throw some we should, wine. Dude, we could be the new Kim and Derek J. I don't know who Derek J is, but I'll be it. Did you not watch Real Housewives of Atlanta? No, I did, but long ago. I binged it right after I met you. The, the, the hair guy. Okay. Anyways, it was always them two. Like, I feel like, Done. I don't know. I haven't really watched. I'm not, I have never seen, I've seen like four episodes right, right. total of Real Housewives of Atlanta because I grew up and I wasn't allowed to watch it because I was so yeah, young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm not really sure if that was even an accurate <laughs> statement, but to my knowledge He's back like the in the day. He's like the villain of the story. I hope not. I mean, I love Derek J, but yeah. um, we could literally, we could, we could be. If any producer, Andy, Andy Cohen, first off, what's your phone number? If you want to go on a date, hit me up. Second <laughs> off, if you want to put me and Brielle on a TV show, I'm ready, willing, and able. 
and I'm funny as fuck. And we would kill it. <laughs> like we would actually bring, listen, the reason the viewership has gone down is let's call a spade a spade. There's oh. no Kim, there's no Nini, okay? Nini and Kim really were the two yeah. that like started it and stuck it out. Now Kim has definitely been gone for a long time. Yeah, so, so is Nini though. But Nini, I don't even know when the last time she was on, but it's like been a while. if you really remove Nini yeah. from the situation, who's tuning in? No, and here's the thing. I think just like the commonality of like most, not even housewife, just real reality TV, it like the Kardashians. It's like once you get like so rich and famous and whatever, like people don't want to lay it all out there yeah. because they're scared of the scrutiny. They don't want to be hated. They don't want to be canceled. And so, you know, you're not this like desperate person who wants to be on TV and throwing yeah. a glass of wine across the table anymore because you're thinking about like, okay, what is this going to mean? Like with campaigns I get, what is this going to mean? Yep. Am I going to be hired for next season or whatever? Well, and so if you no think one's about, bringing it. If you think about when everything started, this was 2008 that Real Housewives of Atlanta started. They had nothing to compare there to. There was nothing. Yeah. There was no Twitter really. Mm -hmm. There It was like Facebook. Yeah. There was no, Instagram wasn't even thought of. I don't even like, think, yeah, yeah. There were so many things that like, if a scene went down and went fucking crazy, <laughs> nobody has an outlet to sit there and pick a side yeah. and bash and whatever. So yeah, it was yeah. like funny and lighthearted. Then everybody gets on social media and it's like, now everybody's racist. Now everybody's <sighs> got issues. Like know, now, know, like whatever. And it's like, that's not exactly yeah. how it went on. And also the producers have full rights to yeah. edit it however they want. Right. Like, I think the pendulum is swinging back the other way. I think like Gen Zers and like, you know, the the generation that's like in high school now is kind of like they're they grew up with the cancel culture that we have mm -hmm. been in for the last 10 years of like say the wrong thing a little bit. And guess yeah. what? You're canceled. You're racist. You're homophobic. Yeah. You're fat phobic. You're this, 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 this. And it's like, wait, but that's not what I meant. And like, yeah. sure, maybe I said something that was inappropriate, but let me like correct myself and apologize. And I think now, like since they grew up in that environment, they're like, cancel me if you want like i don't care like i yeah, i know my intention me. i know my intention i know what i meant to say like yeah if you want to run with it and create a story like i guess go for it and so like almost if you have that attitude it's like you can't be canceled yeah you know i mean i've been canceled a hundred times <laughs> a, a I'm, wait, I'm waiting for my i feel like that's how you know when you made it <laughs> and so um i'm scared for when the tyrants are going to cancel me but i hope it's over something light that i, I don't think i don't think they can cancel you sweetie i mean maybe if i release some of the videos that i have of us from back in the day your ass is canceled no 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 but, I, i'm definitely never getting voted president that's for sure oh no no me no, either I no, mean, no, no, no 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 okay um would you rather never eat uber eats again or never be able to take an uber again i feel like i know your answer because you got to stay away from the uber <laughs> apparently i mean no because i don't even really uber eats in really? Atlanta, like ever. I always just get it's my excuse to get out of the house. Okay. Yeah, right, 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 right. Uh right. hello. <laughs> so I would rather and plus like when I'm drunk or out, I'd yeah, rather have, have an Uber. Uber. Yeah, I'm not yeah, gonna yeah. like Uber eats like, okay, are you really that big of a fat ass that you can't even get your ass up? Oh you. And probably I, a I lot of people. Every day. <laughs> you Uber eats every day? Every single day. Really? Every I don't day. I think it, no, it it's scary. I would have to Uber Eats. Sorry about it. But not being able to take an Uber again, you know. Well, you live in the Mecca that's of what like I was gonna everything. Say. Walk home, bitch. You freaking fat ass. You need to walk your ass home and think about well, the Well, if decisions. you're ordering Uber Eats every day, you definitely should exactly. be walking home. Exactly. And but you, you know I live in the middle of nowhere. So like, true, I'm going to pick true, true, Uber. True, 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 true. Um, okay. So would you rather meet Eminem or win the mega lottery? <sighs> I knew that was, I know the only thing you love more than Eminem is fucking money. <laughs> okay, how much are we talking? No, like, like what was the last mega lottery? Like 1.2 billion? <laughs> You're saying bye-bye, Eminem. They say don't meet your idols <laughs> anyways, right? <laughs> like, exactly, exactly. Okay, no, I would take the money and I would buy. pay Eminem. Mm -hmm, buy him. Yeah, absolutely. Are you, <laughs> I, would I would purchase Eminem to yeah. just... Be with me every day. Yeah. I mean, I would have enough money at that point, right? I mean, yeah. maybe not. Who knows what his net worth maybe is? Maybe at that point he would marry you. Yeah, I wonder what he okay, is Okay, hold on. Let me, let's go back because everybody thinks like, because I love Eminem, it's like a fetish. Like oh. I want to be with him. No, like, no, no, no. I just think no. you're just a fan. Oh, no. it's like the gays love Beyonce, right? Yeah. But they don't want to fuck her. I mean, I would give him the opportunity. <laughs> 
I, I mean, I'm just kidding. I, I would. would. I would. I would. You would. wouldn't? I think you would. Who wouldn't? I mean, like, who? I mean, that's like fucking Jesus. It's like. <laughs> exactly. Hello. I mean, that's even different because he's a man and I, you know, obviously I'm a flaming homosexual. But um, <laughs> that's the thing. It's like, uh, sure, if Beyonce was coming on to me, like, m- maybe I guess I'd give it a chance, of course. But like, would I be able to get it up? I'm not sure. I don't. I don't. I mean, it's Beyonce. You probably you could close your eyes and yeah, figure yeah, it yeah, out. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um. Ew, so. we, are, we are so <laughs> gross. Um, but so you don't even want to fuck Eminem? No, absolutely not. Okay. I'm not interested in that. I just love his craft and yeah, I have yeah. so much respect for him as an artist. And besides, like, y'all know who my mother is. She's let me listen to Eminem like, in kindergarten. Yeah, like, yeah, hello. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah, right. It'd be weird. Yeah. Interesting. Okay, okay. So you're picking win the lottery. I'm winning the and lottery. And then we buy. I Amir. would buy Eminem. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, and then I buy you Beyonce <laughs> and see how that unfolds. I can't wait. I, can't but I don't wait know if I can Beyonce. afford Beyonce's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Oof, that might you might need a few lotteries for that. Yeah. Um, would you rather never be able to travel again or never be able to eat out again? Because <laughs> I know the only thing you love more than travel is food. Dude, you're good at this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, um, hmm. But I love to travel. I'm picking never But like, be able so to when out. I go travel, I have to cook? Yeah, right. There is an interesting stipulation there. I'm thinking, yeah, you know, you got to go to Trader Joe's. You got to go to Trady G. And well, get what some if PB&J. I'm in like. You're getting some. Turks and Caicos. There's no. You're Trader going Joe's. and getting some conks from the local <laughs> market. <laughs> and is that what they're called? Yeah, conks. And, um, okay, yeah. so I picked traveling because like i cannot stay in atlanta hell to the no so you know what i'd rather have to bring tracy bloom everywhere (laughs) i go and figure it out true 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 that's a good that's a good how is that bitch how's tracy we love her but by that bitch that is a term of endearment Mm -hmm. we love tracy um she's good she's great i mean i love that her and brian are always hanging out okay well brian's (laughs) coming tonight brian lands tonight so okay it's about to be a wild weekend oh god so i don't know if you have plans tomorrow tyson but you better cancel we need to figure out how to get beyonce tickets so i can we can (laughs) (laughs) we can we can okay we can figure that out if you make that happen i will literally marry you i will buy you a lottery ticket or i will buy eminem for you um okay so would you rather Never be able to have tequila again or never be able to have pasta again. Um, buy tequila. I'll just drink red wine. Okay, true. Yeah, there are other forms of alcohol. Yeah, but you know, you and I are like, we think alcohol, it's uh-huh. strictly tequila. Like, mm-hmm. I'm, I don't think either of us like vodka. No, 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 no. But if I had to choose, I mean, yeah. I guess I'll take anything with... Any- pasta, like, how? what am I going to eat if I give up pasta? I mean, tequila, there's wine, there's... Vodka, there's, I can learn to love an old fashioned. When they say you are what you eat, you are watching a video, if you're watching this on YouTube, two noodles in yeah, a chair. Absolutely. We are walking noodles, walking pieces of pasta. We should start a noodle joint. Oh my God, we should. What, what, what would we call it? The rats. <laughs> nude rats. <laughs> nude rats. Like N O O D, noodle. Nude rats. Nude rats. <gasps> That's kind Wait, of fabulous. Nobody sealed that, okay? Because yeah, we're, who we're, knows where we're headed? We're young. I got a good lawyer. so okay. And she's got an even better one. So <laughs> don't steal it. We're going to copyright it. Um, okay. Would you rather... Now, this one I really need you to process. Never be tan again or ne- or be bald forever. Um, Forget the tan. No, 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 no. Because guess what, mama? We got wigs. We got wigs that are better than human hair. No. Nope. And guess what? I don't want to have to wash my hair. Someone wash my wig for me. And guess what? I want to be tan as no, because Snooki. Here's the thing. I can't get in the ocean with a wig on. The shit will fly oh, off. Oh, okay. You know, there. No. Yeah. Women of color do. Do they? Right? Don't that like their wigs are like installed. I'm so not, we could install. See, I'm not. I just am thinking have, like, of Kim's wig, yeah, right? Right, right, right? And I know that she just. Pops Lip, it on. Yeah, right. And if I it, know that would go flying. No. I mean, Nini's pulled it off. <laughs> in, and so is Sheree. So. <laughs> in Hurricane Hillary, that bitch, is, you're going to be bald. Yeah. Okay, that is So maybe like an install or whatever the correct term is. Yeah, yeah, Like, right. do it to me. Sure. I I'll guess keep maybe the you tan. have to have a little hair for it to like latch onto. Like that's. Uh, yeah. I mean. No, like, no, no, no. No, like drag queens. Drag queens. Oh, like, they just glue gl- it. They glue it down. I'm just like, I, you know, I've been going to Chrissy for like <laughs> 10 years yeah, we need and my hair. shit is just sewed oh, into my just, head. Oh, I need that tan. I need that tan. I'm a tan But, but like, I'm very Italian, so it's just naturally in here. Right. And I have 
Congolese and Nigerian. What? <laughs> I do. Explain the percentage there so, and where that come from. So, so you did your like ancestry. Yep. So my mom and I both did it. My mom has double the percentage. <laughs> Shut I swear to God. Up. My mom's like 14%. Congolese and Nigerian. What the fuck is Congolese? Uh, like Congo? I guess. Where's that? They're both in Africa. <laughs> it says like I'm sub-Saharan African and then you can click. Wow. And it shows you Congolese and Nigerian are where I have some DNA from. Okay. And I'm like 7.8 or something like that. Like between 7 and 8. That's, I just know that. I haven't crazy. looked at it in like four years. But when I saw that, I was like, mom. <laughs> that's where are I, you where lying come to from? me? Yeah, right. We're like, who is my father? Yeah. Um, yeah, I haven't done that yet. Um, you know, I just like to live in this delusion that I've got like a really crazy past. And you probably do. Yeah. That's I would true. love to do like a regression and see what your past lives yeah, were yeah, like. Yeah, because yeah. something tells me that you and I were running the street. <laughs> I actually did a regression I once. I was actually probably a tyrant in another oh, life. Actually, I did a regression once and I found out that someone we were talking about earlier lit my house on fire in and brought life. the whole town to light it on fire in my past life and burn me in my because i was telling my shaman i was like dude i have like a serious <laughs> issue with sleeping at night yeah. like i feel like i'm gonna die in my sleep i don't know why <laughs> he said we did a past regression he said do you have a friend named you know who i showed you the dm <laughs> yeah, yeah, from yeah, earlier yeah, yeah. i know who you're talking about <laughs> um do you have a friend that matches this description blah 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 that you know now da 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 and i was like yeah, I do. The only person that came to mind is this motherfucker. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, this specific person took a torch in the whole town. I was in New Orleans, oddly enough. In, now, the, in this life. Yeah, in this life. But like <laughs> now this is all like, OK, do I 100 percent believe this? Like, no, it's just like fun to yeah, hear yeah, yeah. and entertain, of course. Um, and I'm like, OK, this is really weird because I do sense a little animosity. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And I could totally see this person. Oh, 100%. He's going to do that in this life. Torching. I know. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> see? So, like, it makes sense. It's like, huh. Okay. Maybe I should take a step back from this friendship mm -hmm. before I get this house yeah. torch. Wow. Okay. Okay. I'm staying very tuned for that. I don't even know how we got there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't either. We brought up being tan and being bald and we are lighting torches in our past lives in New Orleans. That's yep. how we got there. Um, okay. Would you rather, obviously in both of these scenarios, you can breathe. Would you rather be lost in space or lost at sea? Lost at sea. Really? I'm going to like, I might go fuck around and find out what's going on in the extraterrestrial well, environment. You're a Cancer. I'm a Pisces. We're both water signs. Mm -hmm. We thrive That's true. at the beach. That's true. But and we could swim to land at some point. When you're in space, how the hell am I going to get gravity to go with uh -huh. me and shoot me back uh -huh. into mm -hmm. Earth? Because I've an seen object Interstellar. object in motion is always in motion. Unless, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh -huh. You know, the ocean has just been a scary place lately. It is. No. The Hold on, PSA, do not go on a cruise from December to like <laughs> July next year, Why? okay? Sharks? We're talking about planets. The planets are pissed, and I don't know if anybody here saw, but there's a new cruise ship that's like the biggest <gasps> cruise ship in the world that's launching in January, it's and it's sold out. It's submersible energy. They're going to, mark my words, God forbid this. Oh, no, okay? not Titanic. And God bless their souls, but. It's going down. According to the Venus. planet gods and the astrology Twitter, it's fucked. It's going to be Titanic 2.0. Fuck. It's like the submersible. It's like, let's not mess yep. with the sea. You nope, know, we got working not. ships. We're good. But um, did you listen to, you probably did not because you're not a supporter of the Diamond Podcast. However, did you listen, <laughs> okay. to, did you listen to the episode in which I went um, flight boarding the other day, which no. is like, it's like paddle boarding in the ocean, but like it's like a little bit raised. There's like a little motor on it. Mm -hmm. and I went over a seven foot great white shark. Huh? Here, you saw it? Here in Malibu. Yep. Right over Did it. Did you get out? Yes. No, like literally like the, the person in charge of the thing. I was like, I just saw a shark. Like, oh my God. And he was like, no, like I promise it's just a dolphin. Like we don't see sharks around here that often. Like that's not a big problem. And like I have lived here for eight years. I know the difference between a fucking dolphin and a fucking shark. Yeah. That was a great white shark. And I know how big it was because I went right over it and you and could so see it i could see it in comparison to the size of my board and i was like go over there and tell me you did it and then he like went over there and like two minutes later all of a sudden whistle 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 everybody out everybody out over here over here and made us go like around these rocks to get out like literally seven foot gray white shark went, Listen, went right over it were you not like shitting yourself 
I was more so just like in so much shock because he didn't believe me that I was just like, fuck off, go see it, bitch. <laughs> like, and I don't know, you know, when crazy things happen to you. That just immediately took me back for some reason. <laughs> oh, no. To you telling the staff at the Atlantis <laughs> that they're homophobes because they kicked you out of dragons for wearing a tank top. <laughs> and I would do it again. And I would do it again because guess what? I was half joking, but also I was 100% serious. They were homophobes because they were in their titties out, yep. spaghetti strap, coochie, they were. coochie out. And I was out in there in a Prada, like fresh off the runway, vest. Mm -hmm. And my shoulders were barely showing. And they made me go change. They made me go buy, buy a, a t-shirt. And, and he what did cut I do? it into a crop top. I went up to the bartender and I said, hello, ma'am, you got some scissors? And insert crop insert crop photo of uh, the crop top. Exactly. Because guess what? They said that I couldn't show my shoulders, but they ain't saying nothing about that belly button. And so I did. <laughs> and they let, us, so they let us live after that. I think at that point they were like, oh, because mama. They saw my vagina. Let's I, was, I was threatening lawsuits. That's how <laughs> drunk I was. I was blacked out. I was, I was like, ah, I'm going to sue your ass, you homophobic. Yeah. You know, not my proudest moment, but also a funny ass story. And the guy was like, well, we saw your vagina last night because I did like <laughs> fall going up the stairs uh -huh, uh -huh. at Aura. When are we going to go to Bahamas again? We didn't go last year. I was here with you. I know, but least. like it, it was so fun. Ty is the only friend at every single birthday who has been at every single birthday since the birthday travel escapades have begun. And I'm not saying that's since literally what, 19th? Yeah, 19th, yeah. yeah. And it's not necessarily like Ty's, like it's not my, I mean, it's my fault because I didn't invite anybody. <laughs> I invited you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, we, we gotta we gotta bring the Bahamas trip back. Oh, we're going, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're okay. gonna plan that later. We're gonna chat, we're gonna chat when we go to lunch. Um, Okay, would you rather. Could you imagine doing a podcast in the Bahamas after the end of our the, day? The way that I would become uh, talk about giving the tabloid something to chat about. <laughs> Brielle Beerman, Ty French, blacked out, filming podcasts, posting, making absolutely no sense. Like, <laughs> people would think, like, they would. There would be a lot of twerking, a lot of music, a lot of dancing, a lot of interruptions. Yeah, no, they would. They'd I mean, like, we would not be able to leave the Bahamas. <laughs> Which, last time I was not able to leave the Bahamas because I was so unwell. Oh, me too. And then I got delayed and blah, blah. But everybody knows that. I think yeah, we, we covered that we last time. So. If you don't know what we're talking about, you have to go listen to the first episode that she was on, which was literally like my like fourth I'm a episode. good fucking friend. She's okay. A great friend. Let me just no, say that. She is a great friend. And she will, you know, go listen to the episode. Um, would you rather have one soulmate for the rest of your life or five lifelong best friends? Choose wisely, bitch. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, <clears throat> it's very difficult for me to answer that because I feel like you can, if you have the one right person, mm -hmm. you can have the qualities of those five best friends. But who's totally. to say, like, I'm, I'm a softie. I'm like a romantic. We love love. Um, and big dicks. Yes. <laughs> only, only. <laughs> Shout out to my man. <laughs> <laughs> ah anyways anyways um i think i that's very difficult because okay so i'm with this person forever like nothing could happen because my thing is i hate those girls who just cut their friends off when they get in a relationship 100%. because you never know you're gonna need those people one yeah. day and they were there before during you might as well keep them after right yeah, yeah. and um so it's, it's very difficult for me to have. But like, I don't want to have five best friends and everybody be happy and married around yeah, me and yeah, then I'm yeah. fucking miserable. So honestly, sorry, love you. Um, I'm picking my man. No, that's what I was going to say. Like, obviously it's great to have friends and whatever. My friends are literally my whole life right now. But if you're guaranteed... Like security. That this person is your soulmate. Yep. Like not like, okay, I'm giving up my friends like for this man, for a marriage. It's mm -hmm. like, no, like this is my soulmate. We're going to be together till the day we die. Like... At that point, you really honestly don't need friends because yeah. if you think about it and you look at how your friendships evolve over right, time, right. once you get married, it's really you and that person against totally. the world. And you still have friends, friends and you still have course. best friends. But like if I had to choose, it's like, I'll have friends still. But yeah, I'm looking for a soulmate. And if you got some zeros in the bank <laughs> and some inches in your pants, <laughs> then call me. Anyways. Would you rather, <laughs> I always get extra feral when Braille is on. Would you rather never have kids or never get married? I'd rather never have kids. Really? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, I was never like crazy about having kids. And I think it mostly stemmed from just having, having so many. KJ, my yeah. mom having KJ at 14 and then Cash at 15 and then the twins at almost 17. It's like, that was enough birth control yeah. basically for a lifetime, but yeah. not quite. Like you were basically a mom. Your I was. Life. I mean, I really do look at my siblings like they're my children. Yeah. I discipline them like they're my children, obviously with the respect for my family, but I'm good. Like yeah. they're my kids. Like Kaya is, Kaya is like my little baby yeah. and we're almost 17 years apart. Like my mom had me at 18. Like she's basically my child. You know what I mean? Like totally. we've grown up together and whatnot. So they're I mean, so how am I going to have kids without a man? Yeah, right, right. So I'd rather have my man. Right, 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 right. Well, yeah, you no. just it just said you wouldn't ever get married. You could have a man. I'd rather get married. Yeah. How old are um is Cash and KJ and Kaya now? They're so KJ? old now. Like in your mom's stories, I'm blown away uh, at okay. Kaya. Okay, listen to this. KJ and Cash. KJ's 12, Cash is 11. KJ's in seventh grade, Cash is in sixth. They're both like 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, That's at insane. 12 and 11 years old. And they're like 180 pounds. They're just big, stocky. No, guys, they kind of scare me. Yeah, no, K KJ <laughs> is supposed to be like 6'6", six, six, Cash is supposed to be 6'9". That's insane. Talk about a gentle giant because he's a little sweetheart. Come on, jo join the NFL or something. Give yeah. us some cash. And Kane and Kaya. No, seriously, <laughs> I cannot wait. We're going to be pimping out until these kids. We're going to be going to all the football games at whatever Hell. colleges that they're at. Oh, my like, gosh. It's gonna and be then when they're so in the fun. Super Bowl, we'll yep. finally get to go. go. Whoa. Yes. yes, let's yes. Go. Wait, did you go? I've gone twice. Fuck you know, me. I had to get to see Eminem. No, yeah, you deserve that. You Somehow, deserve that. some way, but somebody if, invited yeah. me the day before, and I was like, sign me up. Fuck. Manifestation is real, guys. Okay. Read the secret. And this is this is us speaking out into existence that we are manifesting that they join the NFL and they get to the Super Bowl, and Riel chooses me as one of her plus twelve. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not naive to think that I would I not be the plus friends. one. Maybe I'll be plus four. Okay. I don't have twelve friends. And that's true. <laughs> I don't have twelve people I like. <laughs> yeah, well, just because they're your friends doesn't mean you like them. No, you're, you're exactly <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, okay, next. Would you rather walk in on your parents having sex or What's have your these? parents walk in on you? Oh, my, I've already been walked in on, so I'd rather <laughs> I pick that one. And I've already seen them on accident. So <laughs> I definitely pick... Corey's would, walked in on me. I would way rather walk in on my parents. I mean, I've done that, but like having the thought, maybe it's because of the whole gay thing. Like if my parents walked in on me having sex with a guy. It depends on the position. No, no, no. If they even just saw like me and a guy in bed, even if we were under the covers, like that would traumatize me for. Ever. And that would traumatize my poor mother forever. Well, Croy walked in on me and my uh, yeah, high school <laughs> boyfriend having sex, but the covers were over me and I was on oh, top. Okay. Thank God. Uh, but I didn't get off. <laughs> <laughs> I just look back at him and I was like, oh, you know what? Fuck. I respect that. I respect that. So I'd rather them walk in on me because, I mean, depending upon the position. I mean, yeah. listen, if I'm <laughs> swinging from a chandelier, absolutely not. They'll be like, this freaky bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and look yeah, at me completely yeah, different. But yeah. my mom and I have such an open relationship. And same with Croy to like, I'll tell my mom something, Croy's around, and Croy's just like, God, you guys, like, yeah, I don't want to yeah, hear yeah. this shit. But my mom knows everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. As long as you're not seeing my downstairs, you yeah. know, spread open wide eagle, yep. I'm kind of good. Um, would you rather break your nose or break your leg? I feel like I broke my nose recently. Really? So I'm just going to stick with the nose. I was sobbing, not because of the pain, but because I thought I broke my perfect nose that everybody fucking thinks is fake yeah, anyways. right. Everyone thinks you have a nose drop. Yeah, so you might as well fucking like, get one. Yep. So now I'm like, well, I might need Wait, to. Wait, how did you almost break it? Tyson, you don't see this like bump. I see a little bump, mm -hmm. but like... <clears throat> I'm so irritated. What happened? It makes me really sad. Uh, this just I was, happened to Tessa too. I was hammered. Oh no. In Charleston at my friend's wedding. I can't, I don't know what happened. I was in the shower and I just remember like I completely sobered up when I hit my face and oh, I took no. 500 photos of all these different angles to make sure it wasn't broken. And I called our house phone, which is like, Somebody died hotline number. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. the last time I called it, Ethan passed away, RIP to oh, our bestie. We love you, Ethan. But um, my mom was terrified and I'm sobbing because I thought I broke it. I don't know. I can feel like a bump. Yeah. And I can see a little bit of something right here, but. It might just be like swollen. I feel like noses this take was in so November. long to heal. But like if you get a nose job, it's like they say you might not even know the result for like two years. Because okay, like, well, that's this needs to long. go down because I just did a photo shoot and I can see this oh, in some so pictures. Well, and I'm did you ask upset. your doctor about it? Um, no. 
Oh, well, maybe maybe ask about it because yeah. guess what? I know mine's broken or I know I have a deviated septum. No, septom. I have a deviated septum for sure. And guess what? Whenever I'm playing volleyball or, you know, a beach game or, you know, I'm kind of wrestling, I'm hoping that someone just goes a little too hard with their elbow <laughs> because I want a nose job, but I don't want to pay for it. And your nose is very cute though, Tyson. Like. No, it needs to be like... I know, like, we don't I see smile, what you see, you know what I mean? When I smile, mean? it goes down and I need it to go up. Oh, I don't like want to be looking like Michael J, but... <laughs> You want to just you want to take me with you? I don't want to be looking be like, like like you know Miss Piggy. You know what? That's what they used to call me. So. Oh no! Mm -hmm. They call other people on Bravo that. I'll tell you after. <laughs> she looks like it. So uh, off the record for that one. <laughs> Cut that out. Beep beep. <laughs> we'll believe it. Um, okay, that was kind of the the last of the would you rather. But my last question that I have for you is not a would you rather more of a this or that and I'm not pitting women against each other you can say both but I'm just genuinely curious because I know you just went to the renaissance concert are you a swifty or a oh, beehive? Beyonce fuck Taylor Swift she is the nastiest bitch ah! she is so, the so, tyrants she are gonna has, come for you listen I don't care sorry <laughs> don't come for me because let me tell you Taylor Swift is a mean girl is she have you met her? No. Uh, yes, I have. <gasps> Once okay. a very long time ago. That has nothing to do with why I'm saying okay, this, okay, though. Like, okay. I have no, I don't know Taylor yeah, Swift yeah. personally. It's like we said before, we're just shooting the shit, yeah. having fun about pop culture. Don't we, quote me. We support women, but I can't get into being a Swifty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Danny wanted me to get tickets to Vegas. I was like, <laughs> I will get them for you, but I'm not yeah, yeah, excited, yeah. ecstatic. We, needless to say, thank God I got out of that one. All right. <laughs> But um, I do appreciate her. I think that yeah. she, I do respect her. I think she's incredible what she's done. Yeah. I mean, making songs for children still at her age and this <laughs> long is incredible. But Not I... songs for children. <laughs> yeah. I mean, how many times can you write a song that about a broken heart? That was the nicest heart? subtle read I've ever heard. <laughs> you know me. I learned it from my mama. Um, but no, I just, I don't like Taylor Swift. I think she's really a mean girl and she just has other people do her work for her. So it doesn't really come to light. Yeah. Um, I just, something about her doesn't resonate with me. Of course, when I was in high school, like 15, what a great album. Yeah. Or Fearless, Our whatever. song is the same screen door. Yeah, like, sleeping out late, singing but she's, on your own window. She's milking this way too long. Like she needs to evolve oh, a little bit so more. So did you see that she just announced that they are doing like a, she's doing like a tour movie that's going to be in movies, like starting October 15th or whatever. I'm like, listen, you already have your bag. We've seen it on Mama, TikTok and Mama. Twitter. One, we've seen it all. Two, your tour just ended two weeks ago. Let us marry. No, it's still happening. In this She's moment. in Mexico. Because I saw I some video yesterday of her in Mexico City and they're chanting, like, you are our sister. We love and you. And the or movie's whatever. already coming out. It's like, let it breathe for yeah. a second. Like, you know, typically, like, biographies or documentaries. Like, Beyonce's come Coachella out came out like two years later, yes. right? Like, let me, let, give which me some we were space, there for. Which we were there for. And it was amazing. It was iconic. <laughs> wait, I'm so, wait, how, get, uh, I'm not going to be able to go to Renaissance because, well, unless you find me a ticket with your, with your lovely try. connections because you're a famous celebrity and you're so amazing. And I'm your best friend, so you're going to take me. But. Yep. I know you already went in ATL. How was it? You guys won the mute challenge. Yeah, we did. Well, hello. She How said, y'all won, y'all won, y'all won. won. <sighs> Duh. Because I was making everybody. I was like, everybody in the suite. In which, the suite. By casual. The way, <laughs> people were DMing me. Nosebleeds. No, bitch. You just don't know what a box looks yeah, like. Yeah, you don't know okay. what a box looks like, bitch. Um, I was in a box. Shout out to Chandler. One of my besties, he has a box there for every event. So oh my gosh, that's amazing. he brought me and he, I was actually emotional when I saw where the stage was in reference to, cause like, I know where the box seats are. I've gone, I go to like every week, every game or whatever with him, yeah. but I didn't know in reference to where the stage was going to be. This is not, we were so close. Ugh. It was, and we had a perfect view Ugh. of literally everything. It was insane. And we were early yeah. actually. And you know, sweet, they have food and drinks. So yeah. it was like, we were in the best. Ugh. And I met Jay-Z. Oh my God. Listen to this. <clears throat> So I had to pee so bad. Yeah. And we're in the suite and somebody's in the bathroom for like 10 minutes. I'm like, Chandler, I'm going to pee my pants. He's like, <laughs> let's just go to like the suite next door. I'm sure. Cause we got there like an hour before it start was supposed to start. So we were like, okay, let's go. I walk out and Shut I'm up. walking down and Jay-Z's like probably like 50 yards in front of me. Like he's pretty, like we were walking. Yeah. He had to pass my suite. Yeah. I was going to another suite, like down the hall and I'm like, wait, is that Jay-Z? And so Chandler looks at me and he goes like this to Jay-Z. Stop. Just a casual like, hi, what's up? Yep. And then Jay-Z goes like this. And when he puts his hand down, I fist bumped him. 
And I was like, or I was like, Chandler, we gotta go follow him. I want to see Blue Ivy. I want to see Blue Ivy. But anyways, so I saw that Blue is amazing. Is piping Beyonce. <laughs> well, so you you probably didn't listen to that once again because you're on a sports topic podcast. But oh. I that, okay. Well, now I'm gonna be the fucking I'm number one listener. I um I met him. Beyonce's assistant invited me to oh Paris. The, yeah, right. In Paris Fashion Week, and I literally shook. I was so drunk because I went by myself and. I got there. I was thinking it was like an influencer event. I get there. It is Jay-Z, Naomi Campbell, yep. Olivia Rossane, like Rick Owens, uh, Doja Cat, Halsey, like everyone. Like I was the only normal person there. It was so weird that I was there. I don't know how Beyonce's assistant even got my phone number or like invited yep. me, but it was so nice. And it was the best moment of my life. I bring it up on the podcast literally every single week. But I was so drunk and literally Jay-Z was standing right next to yep. me. And Beyonce was talking to Olivia Rossane from Balmain. And I literally was just like, it's now or never. Yep. Like it's now or never. And like, I thought, like, if I, like, say hi to him, like, Beyonce will, like, you know, finish her combo and then turn around. And, like, she was giving hugs to everyone. And I was like, oh, my God, this is my moment. This is my, like, I will kill myself yeah. if I don't at least try. Tell me why I go just to Jay-Z's shoulder. Literally. And what happened? I'm, I'm, like, in the back of him. Just tap, tap. And that's, what, that's, that's the motion you decided to go with. Yeah, yeah. And he literally just turns around and I go, thanks for inviting me. That's what you fucking... <laughs> As if he personally invited me. I was he's so probably drunk. looked at you like, no, who? No, he I'm... was like really sweet. I think oh, because he like, he, like everyone there was someone. Like it's not like like it's someone would yeah, random, yeah. you know what I mean? So it was like, I think he was like a little confused. Like he yeah. obviously didn't know who I was, but like. He's like, he oh, was, you're like, here. Nice. Like you, yeah, you're yeah, where yeah. you like, belong. Yeah, yeah, like, exactly. You are meant to be and here. And I was like, I can't remember exactly what I said, but I was just like, oh my gosh, thanks so much for having me. Like I'm such a big fan. Like this album like is amazing yeah. or whatever. And he like shook my hand and then like went about his merry way. And, and you then didn't Beyonce hug kept Beyonce. Going. No, she kept going with the conversation. But that was enough for me. Like she was standing two feet away from me for like literally two hours, shook hands with Jay-Z, met Doja Cat, Halsey, you know, all the peeps. Yeah. And I was hammered what are we not we're about to True. after this we're about to after this hit some drinks um well yeah on that note that was kind of all of my things do you have any last words that you want to give the tyrants before we go have just a ball of a day i think everybody please be kind to the family as we're going through this change which seems to be changing often <laughs> <laughs> um so please just be kind there yeah. are little children involved um that didn't sign up for this like mm -hmm. we did they just kind of were born into this life yeah um and stay tuned for what's to come there's something really exciting that i'm like dying to share with I'm everybody so excited. about what's coming very like i'm talking like around people, the people corner. are gonna die people are yeah. gonna freak out it's people gonna are gonna so die amazing. it's about to be insane what's coming for me and my mom and then what's coming for me and my mom and my sister so just stay tuned um and i hope that everybody can just move forward with kindness yeah, you know totally oh it's time gosh. to like flip the script a little bit yes, you guys because yes. Things are different. 100%. Well, I love you so much. I Thanks so much you. for coming Thanks on. Thanks for having me. Ty's the best. I'm always oh. like, hey, I'm in town. Do you want to shoot a podcast? Like, I have nothing going on this day. He's like, done. Done. See ya. Done. And we're going to go out and we're going to have a ball. <laughs> the whole, like, we kind of plan to, like, clear our schedules for each other. So Literally. here we are. And it's time for us to go get fucked up. Hell yes. <laughs> Anyways, I love you guys so much. Don't forget to rate and review us down below. But we love you and we will see you next time. Bye. Mwah. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for next week.